New at five, a centuries old murderer is back in the headlines this Halloween. Thomas Cornell is thought to be the only Rhode Islander executed based on the testimony of a ghost. Yeah, it may sound like a tall tale, but it really happened. And now one of his descendants is looking to right a wrong. Our Kim Kalunian joins us from Portsmouth with his story. Kim. Well, for people here in Portsmouth, it's a pretty well known ghost story, but for one local man, it's a bit more personal and now he's trying to get justice for his ancestor. Here in this historic cemetery off West Main Road in Portsmouth lies the Cornell family, all of them except Thomas Cornell. He's under this driveway, pretty much almost exactly under that bus stop sign. Joe Ochi owns the Valley Inn where the original Cornell house once stood. Especially around this time of year, everyone's, a lot of the people around here are pretty aware of it. Yeah, you're in the original house now. Back in 1673, Thomas Cornell lived here with his family, including his mother, Rebecca. Local historian and author Rory Raven says Thomas was the last person to see Rebecca alive in her upstairs bedroom. Thomas sends uh, one of his sons up and there is Rebecca's body uh, laying at the foot of the bed, uh, just burned um, horribly. Rebecca was known to smoke a pipe and her death was initially ruled an accident until a relative of Rebecca's came forward with new evidence. Her brother uh, says that he had a dream where Rebecca came to him uh, and, and showed him the burns on her body and said, see how I was burnt, which kind of makes it sound like someone did this to her. Uh, and, and this is apparently enough to get the case reopened. So uh, they exhume her body and, and re-examine her and they find a stab wound in her stomach. Blame falls on Thomas and he is tried and convicted based mainly on what Rebecca's ghost said. I mean, this is this is spectral evidence. This is the kind of thing that 20 years later would get people hanged in Salem. The Salem witch trials resulted in more than 200 arrests and two dozen deaths until spectral evidence was banned in 1693. All those accused in the witch trials have since been pardoned, but not Thomas Cornell. Raven wrote about his story in his book, Haunted Providence. I'm reading this book and I'm like, I recognize the name Innocence. So I, I looked it up and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Enter Clifton Humphrey, who through a recent at-home DNA test and much online ancestry research said he's discovered he's the eighth grand nephew of Thomas Cornell. I'm like, I can get this guy off. I'm like, cause he can I mean, spectral evidence is not allowed. So Humphrey penned this letter to Governor Dan McKee, noting that Cornell's execution was the only one based on evidence from a ghost. I hope you can help and correct this 351 year old case of injustice, he wrote. Back on West Main Road, there are no signs of any specters at the Valley Inn right now, but Ochi and his son Michael say they're happy to share the space. And I just like felt someone like right over my shoulder and I just closed up and got out of here as quick as I could. And that was Kim Kalunian reporting. We reached out to the governor's office for comment, but so far they've been unable to provide one.